Lupus affects millions. Um, it's a chronic autoimmune disease. So what's the biggest misconception, um, you know, about it? Many people think it's just, you know, a skin rash, but it actually impacts many organs. It's much more widespread than that. Right. So what age group is most affected? Women aged 15 to 44 are at the highest risk. Yeah. Okay. And what about racial disparities? Are there any significant differences there? Yeah, there are African-American, Asian-American, Hispanic, Latino, Native American, and Pacific Islander individuals have higher rates of lupus than others. Okay, let's define lupus for our listeners. Can you give us a simple explanation? Sure. Lupus is a chronic disease that causes inflammation and pain um, pretty much anywhere in the body. The immune system uh, basically attacks healthy tissue. It's a bit of a mess. So it's an autoimmune disease. What organs are commonly affected? The skin, joints, kidneys, and lungs are the most frequently involved. Um, yeah. What are some common symptoms people might experience? Well, fatigue is a big one. Joint pain and swelling, swelling in the hands and feet, headaches, low-grade fevers, and sun sensitivity are also pretty common. And what about the skin and hair? Are there any noticeable changes there? Yeah, a butterfly rash across the face is a classic sign. Hair loss is possible, and also mouth or nose sores. Interesting. Are there any blood-related symptoms? Yes. Um, things like good clots, anemia, and Raynaud phenomenon can occur. So who diagnoses and treats lupus? Who should someone see if they suspect they might have it? Primarily rheumatologists, but other specialists might get involved depending on which organs are affected. Like who? Dermatologists, neurologists, cardiologists. Um, you know, it really depends on the specific case. Is there more than one type of lupus? Yes, systemic lupus is the most common type, but there's also cutaneous lupus, drug-induced lupus, and neonatal lupus. Okay. And what causes lupus? Is there a known cause? The exact cause is still unknown, unfortunately, but genetics, hormones, and environmental triggers are all suspected to play a role. Can you give us some examples of those environmental triggers? Ultraviolet light from the sun is a big one. Certain antibiotics, infections, exhaustion, physical injury, and even emotional stress can all trigger a lupus flare-up. Okay. And is lupus contagious? Can it spread from person to person? No, it's not contagious. So how many people in the U.S. have lupus? Any idea on the numbers? At least 1.5 million people. Um, and there are about 16,000 new cases diagnosed every year. Wow. Are there any specific risk factors besides age and ethnicity? Yeah, a family history of lupus or other autoimmune diseases significantly increases your risk. Well, thank you so much for clarifying these important points about lupus. This has been really informative. You're welcome. It's really crucial for healthcare providers to understand this complex disease. Absolutely. Early diagnosis and management are key to better outcomes, right?